Alright, this is the first time I've uploaded a video in about nine months, and uh, all of these clips are going to be from things that happened nine months ago, but I figured I'd just go ahead and uh, put them together in a video and upload them now that I'm making videos again. And I also wanted to talk about the future of this channel. I think um, going forward I might occasionally make um, little compilation clips like this, but I think in general I'm going to start putting out instructional videos on various aspects of the game. I've noticed that a lot of new players, I mean, you know, you, you play the game for a while and you forget how difficult it is um, as a new player, so I'm going to be doing a lot of those. And um, I'll also touch on more advanced concepts, but uh, for the most part, I think um, I'm going to stick to more instructional videos in general. Um, also, I've been doing station trading a lot, and that was one of the things that drew me to the game, so I'll be doing a lot of videos about that type of thing. Uh, but anyways, on to the, the clips that I have here. This first video is just, um, it's it's just a coveter game, don't let the second slug in really uh, interesting about the clip itself, other than to say that the um, this guy was mining, and then I went next door to run a DED site, but some other guys got to it first, and um, they were associated with the guy that was mining, and I came in here earlier to gank him, but he got out of the site just fine, and I thought, well, whatever, I'll just, you know, leave it alone, and let him do his mining thing, but after they came in and started trashing up work with the next door, I decided I would go back and give it another shot. So, I guess the lesson here is just don't needlessly trash talk, I guess. Although, I'm sure that these guys don't really care too much about this cover or loss. And then I, uh, I go for the pot here, even though it's low sec, because, you know, it's personal, I guess. And, um, I go ahead and pull up this door, too. But... Uh, that's that, you know. Again, nothing really too interesting. I was a little bit nervous during this um, particular gank because there were a number of enemy ships on scan, including, like, um, you don't see it here, but there was a Proteus and a couple others, so I was a little bit worried that something might go wrong, but nothing happened at all. It was just a, a minor gank. Not too exciting, but uh, I don't know. I figured I would just include it because I had it. And, um, the next one, I think, if I remember right, yeah, this is just, uh, killing a salvaging destroyer, so again, not, not super exciting. Oh yeah, by the way, the, the Ishtar fit in the last video, and basically all the videos that I've put up so far, I just don't copy them. I, I tend to just throw random garbage on my Ishtars, especially whenever it's just, you know, going to be a straight-up gank, and you don't really have to worry about fighting too much. Um, but here... I found a group of people running sites, and they bring in the salvaging destroyer, which you see it here, anchoring the uh, MTU. And the rest of the group warps off. And the reason that I, I included this clip is because, um, just just kind of to show that you don't, you know, it doesn't have to be a completely safe 100% um, situation for you to get away with a gank. Uh, th this guy is, you know, he's going to sit here and salvage, and his friends are all in combat fit sh ships just a couple of AU away, but I go ahead and decide to get him anyways because I figure I can kill him and then, you know, fly away without actually wor having to worry about his friend showing up in time to kill me. So I uh, switch out to an interdictor. I figure, you know, it'll kill the ship quicker than a bomber and you can get the pot or whatever else. And I warp in here and it looks like this guy is, you know, not expecting it at all. He's moving toward the wrecks. And uh, I blow him up. And one of the, I guess, mistakes that I made here is that when I was exiting the bubble, I wasn't really aligned to anything. So when his friends come in, you know, if I'm just barely making it out of the bubble and they're in range, I could be in trouble. Although, since this is like a PvE op, I'm not really in too much danger of being pointed or anything. But, uh, I. I mean, just something to keep in mind. I mean, there's plenty of stuff to align to here, and obviously I'm right in the middle of the bubble, so it doesn't really matter which way I go. So I get the pod and burn out of the bubble. And all of his friends end up, um, you know, you can see them on DC in here, so yeah, they're coming. Um, and they end up landing, but they're too far away, and they don't lock me anyway, so I managed to get out just fine.
And again here, like I'm at a right angle to any splash fields. And here they land, you can see them popping up on the overview. Uh, this is this is one of the most bizarre things I've ever witnessed in these. This Dominix, if you see it on the overview and, and you can kind of see it on the screen as well. This Dominix is actually unmanned and sitting at Coco. And in addition to this, you can see on D-Scan there's an Ishtar. Well, this Ishtar is manned, but it's sitting at a dead pause with, with no structures. So I'm not really sure what's going on here, but I go and I switch out to my own Ishtar. Again, don't copy the fit. Uh, and I go back and I think, you know, this must be some kind of weird, elaborate trap. Like, you know, maybe they're going to somehow, there's some game mechanic where they can flip on the POS guns or something. Or, you know, they have a cloaky camp waiting by the Dominics. I figure this must be some insane bait or something. So I, you know, I come back anyways. I'm like, whatever, I'll just go for it. And I start attacking this Ishtar. And it turns out this guy is completely AFK. So that only kind of really... It adds to my confusion here. Like, I'm nervous through this whole fight. I'm thinking, all right, what's going to happen? But nothing happens. You know, he's just, he's AFK, and then he dies. And then I get the pot as well, so it's not even like he was just tapped out or something and and didn't get his, like, he didn't even get his pot out. So anyways, uh, you know, after this, I, uh, I come back and I take the Dominix as well. And this guy convos me and he's talking about wanting a way back into the hole but this is a c4 and this is before they made the changes with the uh, double statics and everything so i'm not really sure why he was even interested in this hole at all but i figured i'd hang around and you know i i generally just you know was going to let him go about his business but i did want to see what he ended up doing in here and i could never figure it out like he never came back so i have no clue why he was so interested in this whole why he had an empty dummy sitting at a poco somewhere and he said he was trapped in here as well so it makes me wonder how he got the dominance in i mean there's no structures on this boss he's sitting at so it's not like he had it stored or anything i mean the whole thing is just really bizarre and confusing to me and i i just don't understand at all what was going on here um, but, you know, I included it here just because I thought it was it was just really an interesting situation and probably one of the weirdest things that I've seen in EVE. So, you know, here I kill him and pot him, loot him, and then I recorded myself taking the Dominix as well. You know, and that was like a free 300 million esque, so I was happy with that. And like I said, I you know, I don't have the whole chat log here, but I did eventually give him the entrance and sat around waiting for him to come back and he never did and I I mean I think I waited until it was end of life or downtime came around or something like I was pretty dedicated about waiting to see exactly what was going on in here and it just I I have no idea very weird situation and I think I looked around the system and there were no other active bosses or anything so I'm not sure how this guy managed to lock himself in or where this we'll Dominic came from. Just very strange. And um, this last one is. This is a Procure gank, but I included it because I actually get my Orca in at the same time. I guess this is it's maybe not clear, but I typically have an Orca, well at least at this point in time I typically had an Orca in tow. I don't do it as much as often uh, these days, but I used to always have an Orca in system with me so I could switch out ships if I need to or whatever. It was just that hobo way of life, I guess. And usually, if you have a pretty good idea of what is or isn't in the system, you can safely bring an Orca through. But in this case, a Megathon had just come through before me. I mean, you can tell the hole reduced after I came through with the Orca, um, if you listen for the sound effect. But I figured what I would do, since I wanted to be in this hole, because it was obviously active, all these ships that you see on D-Scan are active. And not just AFK and their class either, you know, like I said, the, the Megathon just came through. 
So I figure, you know, I'll attack the Procure, I'll get my Orca in, I'll use the attack as sort of a diversion or something like that. But uh, nobody even comes, so it was, I guess it was a little bit um, overthinking it, maybe. But this just shows that, um, I guess not, not always, of course it's very risky to do what I've just done here, but it shows that, you know, you can get away with quite a bit if people aren't sitting around expecting an orca to come through, you know, you can just jump the orca through and, and nobody's going to be formed up already for it to come through. So I thought this was, you know, a good time to come in because if anything on comms you're probably yelling about the procure getting ganked or whatever or not about the orca that's just come in the system. And I, I can't remember very well because it was so long ago, but I do think that nothing else really happened in this hole. I could probably stay here for a few days and I think, I mean if I remember correctly, nothing else interesting came of this. And this pod actually gets out, so it wasn't like he was just completely AFK. I, I'm not really sure why people didn't come. I mean, like, even in a Blackbird, just to try and jam me out would have been good. But anyways, that's it for these uh, older videos, and then all the stuff going forward will be new, and like I said, probably primarily instructional material.